The latest data shows that the Earth's oceans, in particular the surface layers, are warming. In the Pacific, this warming is happening faster now than any other time in the last 10,000 years. What this means is that when storms like Haiyan pass over these warm waters, they pick up more of their energy. More moisture and more heat from the sea is sucked up, making the storm stronger and winds stronger too. This chart shows the different estimates of how the sea surface temperatures have increased since the 1950s. This doesn't mean there'll be more storms, but instead stronger ones, heavier rain and stronger winds. And the historical record for wind speeds in the Philippines appears to support that. In 1951, winds of up to 240 kilometres an hour were recorded. In 1970, the record was set at 275 kilometres an hour. After a hiatus in 2006, that was surpassed with speeds of 320 kilometres an hour. And now, Typhoon Haiyan has blown that away with gusts of up to 370 kilometres an hour. Superstorms like Haiyan are consistent with a warmer world, and scientists say there's evidence that storm intensity is increasing. Climate change translates into a warmer world, and not only the atmosphere, but indeed the ocean is getting warmer, which means that there's indeed more potential for strong systems to develop. The scientists at this stage are very careful not to attribute a single uh, storm to any particular cause. It's a result of in complex interaction between many things. However, what we see, including in the Philippines, is consistent with what we expect. But they stop short of blaming climate change. They say they need more data and they're working to get it. Only then will they be able to say for certain that a particular weather event is the result of climate change. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.